All right, guys, so welcome back. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Okaidi. Now, I believe that word stands for welcome home in Japanese. And essentially, this game is a Japanese psychological horror game about a middle school Japanese girl and her mother who have recently moved into a new town. And from what I hear, what happens is pretty darn unsettling and disturbing. So I, I will say, watch at your own discretion. It's, it's pretty severe from what I've read. I've actually had this game on Steam for about a couple of weeks now, and I've been meaning to play it. It's about 15, 20 minutes. It shouldn't take up too much of your time, but um, I hear it's interesting. So without further ado, let's do this. All right, so here we are. God, this looks incredible. There's something about Japanese games that just hit different. They're very, very different. Now, we do have this film grain here, which takes it off and it looks a lot more clear. But I will say, and I've said this before, I'm not a big fan of it unless it's a horror game. I feel like in a horror game, it just makes things a bit more tense. So we're going to keep it on. <laughs> It's late. I have to get back home. Hmm. Okay. Dude, this little town looks incredible. Super spooky. Oh, God. So, it seems like we're at a crossroad here. Uh... Or a fork in the road, depending on how you want to see it. <laughs> I think we're lost, and if my gut serves me right, I think I'm gonna head left. Okay? We're going left. I don't know if this game has multiple endings. I I, I wanna say it doesn't. Um, so I think we should be a-okay. Ultimately, we should get the same ending regardless of where we go. Ooh, we got a little kid's playground here. A whole lot of crows. Something don't look right. <laughs> Something don't sound right. Okay. We have a playground with uh, no kids. Very disturbing. Whenever you put a playground in a video game, just get away from there, okay? I don't think it's this way. We've played a couple of Japanese horror games here, like the night delivery. I think it was the night delivery. It was the one about delivering packages. And the graphics are both crappy and really good at the same time. It's hard to explain, but dude, those games, it, it's a different type of horror whenever we play these games. Like the Japanese games, horror games that is, they're just very good at building realistic tension. Whereas like the regular horror games that we're kind of used to, it's all about jump scares and disgustingness, you know? So it's, it's a little bit of a different type of horror and it all depends on what you're into. There should be... Ooh. I don't think I'm allowed to go in here, but... Okay, you know what? Should we go into the alleyway? Hello? Does anybody live here? You see, I'm kind of new here, and I'm, I'm a little lost. And to be quite frank, I'm a little bit terrified. There's like a dozen crows above my head. No idea what the hell's going on here. Oh, wow, that's our house. I had to press E. Oh God. Um. Oh, oh. oh God. Well, this looks okay. All right. You see what I'm talking about? This this is the Japanese horror experience. Okay? A very, very unsettling experience indeed. Now, I promise you, I kid you not, I haven't looked at, at much at all. I just read the description, um, some of the reviews. Um, the only bad reviews that I saw was that people were complaining because they paid $3 for 20 minutes of their time, and I can kind of understand that, but hey, to me, it's it's worth it. But that's as much as I got. I don't suspect there would be any jump scares in here. I would suspect this game might just give us the creeps. 
Oh god. Mother? Hello? Uh, mom, I'm, <laughs> I'm back home from school. There, there is no time to be playing hide and seek. By the way, you can see the boxes, um, from, you know, currently moving in here. So the, <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? Did I see something? Oh, it was probably the glare on the wood. Oh my God. Mom? Mother? Oh, hi. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, man. Those footsteps are loud. Oh, I hate the footsteps. Okay, this is the kitchen. Oh. Maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe, maybe it is just you. But you you want to know something? I want no part of it. Oh, damn. That's a small fridge. Either that or we're like six foot five. Okay, so you would think they'd probably pick up a little bit better, right? Okay, I think I'm going crazy because I, I, I could have sworn I just heard footsteps behind me. When was the last time that I watched TV? Dude, I love this. This is crazy. Okay, let me check these doors. <laughs> the fuck was that? Okay, mother, uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm home. <gasps> I just wanted to let you know that I'm home and I got straight A's today. The teacher said that I was excellent. Oh, dude, that's creepy. The way those doors open, me no likey. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing else here that we can kind of... Oh, look. Recently, mom isn't feeling so well. Really? It's already been one week since mom and I moved in here. Okay, there's nothing else here for us. Alright, let's go the other way. So this is just the living room. And the, uh, the dining area as well. Boxes everywhere, which is suspected, right? I mean, mom doesn't feel well. We're just a kid. It's going to be slower than normal. I should clean this up soon. Yes, yes, you should, you little brat. I need to learn Japanese. I mean, I watch Japanese drag. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck that. Fuck what I just said. Oh my god. Okay, things are a little bit more... Oh my god, mom. I swear to god. Wow, that was bad. Oh god. I was saying, I need to learn Japanese. I've watched Dragon Ball in, ja in Japanese before. It's the best way to watch it. But I, I seriously need to take the initiative and learn a little bit of Japanese. I I, I, I love the language. It's, I feel like it's so cool. It got dark. How, how convenient. I pick up a flashlight and all of a sudden it just gets dark. <laughs> really? Really? That's great. You know what? Next time just don't pick up the flashlight. How about, how about that? Okay, bro. I don't trust this house. I, I don't trust this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The grain is the full power right now. It is excessively dark in here. Mom is nowhere to be found. And there is a lock. Wait, why can't I interact with that? Okay, so we need a code. What's the code? Something tells me it's probably better if I don't find out the code. Something tells me I'm probably going to die. Ooh. Seven. Okay. We've got seven. That's the first number, but. All right. 
So we need to find five numbers. Seven. Okay. Should we find another number in this room? Possibly not. Guys, I just want to say this house is cursed. I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be, but if a house turns off the lights on its own, it is fucking cursed. You need to get out of there. Okay, so you know how I always say, if you're not wearing headphones, you're not doing it right? Yeah. I just heard fucking footsteps right behind myself. And I don't... Oh, God. Kettle, toilet, tatami, tatami, storage, my... What? Four. Okay, we've got another number. So seven, four. I have a feeling that there's another number upstairs that I haven't found yet. Because they're like extremely well hidden. If you can see, that's very, very well hidden. So seven, four. I'm going to go back in this room. God, those footsteps. All right, seven, four. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go back downstairs. When I put the number here, just so I don't forget it. Okay. All right, seven, four. Perfect. All right, we're going to go back down. Bro, she was right there, bro. She was wearing blue, dude. I swear to... I swear to God, she was wearing blue, dude. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, man. I don't like this. All right. Okay, seven, four. That's the toilet. Excellent. Seven, four, two. All right, so we've got two. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Shit just got real. 742. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Why is the kitchen upside down? Well, here we go, kids. <laughs> it's about to get serious. All right, Mom. Seriously? You know, this shit was cute at first, but right now... Oh, God. I'm tripping out, dude. I don't even know. All right, let's open up the doors. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, we're going into the shit right now. Oh! Ser seriously? Seriously. Oh, my God. Two. What is this? Two nine, okay. Seven four two nine. Seven four two nine. Okay. Need one more number. Seven four two nine. Everything is gonna be okay. I want to say the other numbers here. Oh, there it is. Seven four two nine seven two nine seven. 297. Okay, we're gonna go back upstairs. 29. Oh, was this like this before? 297. Alright. Listen here, mom. Okay? I'm gonna go back into your room. I'm gonna put the code in. And everything's gonna be okay. Two. Nine, seven. I don't even know if that's the correct order, but. Oh, God. What's the correct order? Seven, four, two, nine, seven. So maybe the notebook that was in here gives us the proper order. This little note notebook that we have going on here. So one, yeah, you see the kettle, the toilet, 
All right, so 429. We got to put this as a nine. That should work. Perfect. Damn, that's a fat ass lock for it. <gasps> Oh god. What the fuck's going on here? Okay. I mean, well, at least on the bright side, there's no sprint button. So we're not going to be running from anything, right? Or at least I hope not. All right, it's got to be downstairs. Whatever happened just happened downstairs. We're going downstairs. Here we go. Oh my god, it just hit me. That's a fucking door. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? No! <laughs> oh my god! So, okay, so far we've been living here for about a week. It's, 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 it's a Japanese middle school girl and her mother who moved into a town for about a week so far. We find out, I, I, I'm starting to think that we weren't, I don't, I don't know if the house was possessed or not, but it seemed like that was in fact her mother walking around the house. Now, did she do it to herself or did something or someone make her do it? Now, it looks like she hung herself she she took her own life but at what cost was it the debt i mean it, it could have it could have easily bro i think she took her own life because she owed money which gives the reason why they probably moved to this new town right Alright, thankfully I'm not scared of ducks or frogs or anything. Uh, what do you expect me to do with that? I'm not going to take my own life, am I? No, what the fuck? No. Are you crazy? Are you serious? Um She's on the chair. You can hear it. Oh my god. Oh my god. She took her own life too. Bro, I have goosebumps. Like I really do. The, the, the crazy shit about this is that this is this is an ongoing thing in life. Like this shit happens in real life. This is not a joke. Like this these things happen. Wow. Like I, I guess what I, I get it why people were complaining. It feels it almost feels like a demo in a way. It feels like maybe, you know, three dollars for. It was no really big crazy conclusion. Like we kind of know or we can assume what happened, um, but with the other side of the token, you know, three dollars 
you know, work still went into what was put in this video game. It was a very, very unsettling horror game. Not crazy on like the jump scares or anything like that, but it was definitely more of an experience. There was like two or three moments there were a little bit spooky, but I feel like I'm, I'm glad I played it and got to experience what, what, what these devs are trying to tell within this game. And, and that is the, the harsh reality of what some families go through. You know, single mother with a, a young girl in middle school has no money to pay her bills, has a huge debt, has no way out, can't find a way out. And unfortunately, the only way out in her eyes is to take her own life. But then you leave a poor young girl without any parents, without a mother. So I, I, wanted, I wish I knew what the letter said. Um... But it led us to some sort of forest. And again, I'm, I'm presuming that the girl we were playing as hung herself as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Man, this is crazy. This is pretty pretty dark and disturbing, to be honest. So we're, we're just going to end it there. I'm going to be looking in the comments to hear your or read your thoughts and opinions on this. It's pretty, pretty incredible, to be honest. Um, okay, I'm just... Thank you, guys. And I'll... Catch you later.